Hi there YouTube, how are you doing? It's your main man Cedric again today and I am back with some more Rush Royale. Today we have an absolute crazy game for you, absolutely mental, 7 minutes long, I couldn't have believed how long it was going on for. And when I saw his deck come out with the Cultist Harley Quinn, I did not think I was going to win because you guys know how meta the Cultist is right now. But as you can see I've got my Blade Dancer deck with my Trapper, Portal Keeper Frost and the Ivy there to deal with them hordes, as you know I do love that Ivy card. But when I saw his cultists come in, I was very scared. I believe this was put me up into that 5-3 area as well, which would have put me into League 5. So it was a very intense game. I did not want to lose this one, guys. I was in it for the win. So I'm just going to leave it here. It was tamer to start with, so it's not too much of a bad boss to start off with. But as you can see, he's not doing very well at getting his cultists set up too well. So we are getting there, setting our blade dancers up, moving them around, waiting for our portal keepers to wake up and whatnot. Because that is the power of the blade dancer. As you can see, we've got them in that zigzag pattern there. We are doing work against our horde. So now let's just go and I'll come back here in a minute when Tamer is here. Right then guys, Tamer is about to drop and you are going to see the absolute damage output that my blade dancers are putting out. There you go, taken out before I even manage to finish what I'm saying straight into the second round, straight into another tamer, but as you can see, slowly but surely getting his cultists on the field, that merge 3 priestess is not doing anything fancy for him there though, that is a bit unlucky, and as you can see, we've just got one more tile where our blade dancers could be, but it's taken up by our merge 2 frost, which is, I'm not too worried about, we should be getting a nice damage output, but the only thing there we could be improving on is the merge ranks of our blade dancers, as you can see, they are all only merge rank 1, apart from that one in the top left, but you can see our trappers there assisting in the odd tiles, getting them trapped on the floor, lowering their defense, slowing them down, as well as the frost slowing them down. It is just perfect synergy, guys. Anyway, a minute now till Puppeteer. I think I might have confused myself here a bit, guys. I said there was Tamer coming out, but I believe we're in Puppeteer now. So let's just skip forward and uh, see how quickly we take him out, shall we? Right then guys, this is round two, we're about to drop into Puppeteer, so you would think he's got that much bit of more health, I've got no stun on the field, he's definitely changing me, he's definitely lowering my levels, no. Taken out within a matter of seconds, you've got that Blade Dancers on the field, they're all max level, all in the right formation, Trappers there, throwing their traps on the floor, lowering the defence nicely and Frost slowing everything down. Going into that third round now, we do come up against Gorgon. And as you can see, he's now got a lot more cultists on the field. Two merge, three merge threes, a few merge twos, and a couple of merge ones. He's still got Harley down in the bottom as well, so he could copy another one if he wanted. And so you can see, I'm still managing to keep my wave back as this is slowly coming through. So although cultist is one of the meta decks at the minute, you do need basically the whole board full of them. And even then. You're not holding off against my Blade Dancer deck, guys, even then. So let's just skip forward a little bit more, see if we are even going to come up against Gorgon. Alright then, guys, it looks like he did manage to just hold off until Gorgon. So here you go, he's dropping in now. 1.6 million health on his side and 1.4 on my side. So there you go, he is covering tiles here, left, right and centre. And because I have a better formation, I have a lot more damaging units. I don't have more damaging units, but... He just doesn't cover up my damaging units basically, it's a bit of the RNG, that's what you like in the good old Rush Royale. And here we go guys, mine is down and out, he's struggling to take his out, he's already dropped his hero as well, so there's no chance of him stopping this one before it gets through the gate. And there you have it, that's him down two lives. Going into Gorgon again, again, I am managing to hold my way back, he's got a few nice merges, he's got a couple of trappers on the field, he's still got a lot of cultists on the field to say, but he's not quite got the damage output you think he'd be having but anyway my formation has still stayed the same so it's basically basically round one guys because that is just it's perfectly set up i've got just the merge 2 ivy the merge 2 frost i've got a couple of portal keepers there which could be something different but if i risk merging them i risk messing up the formation of my blade dancers and it's just not worth doing so as you can see my frost slowing everything down He's dropping his hero once again there, and it's not going to be enough to hold back that wave that is coming at him. And there we have it, the victory royale, guys. And that is how you beat a cultist deck. Um.